morning folks it's been an eventful morning i'm already sweating uh i guess today <laughs> my plans have all changed Um, Cowboy, as you guys, I, I mentioned it, he, he's been getting caught in a fence, and today uh, he got caught in the fence and he ripped his shoe off. Um, he's been pawing the fences when he don't get something to eat. And this is what happens when horses are underworked and overfed. Um, he's just bored. He wants something to eat. He wants it now. And as you can tell, he's not, take you over a minute, he's, he, <laughs> he, he, ain't, he ain't hungry. Uh, none of these horses are. Uh, he, he was pretty tore up. He got pretty uh, just emotionally tore up, not physically tore up. He ain't hurt himself. He just pulled his shoe off. But a lot of times we're busy uh, and we don't get to interact with them like we should. We come in, we feed. We get up in the morning, we feed. We, we go do a project. And he tore this shoe off right here. He needed to be reset anyway. But he was just really... Uh, really emotionally tore up running the fence pawing the fence uh i was sitting there in the truck talking to my mom and dad and i seen it happen uh and then he he was so excited he took off ripped the wire down off the post you can see right in here this this uh wire right here he ripped it all the way loose these behavioral issues happen because well number one they're not turned out in a pasture number two uh they're they're used to getting their hay at certain times and then when it don't happen uh he takes and he gets upset and he's kind of a high strung horse anyway so we've been having this issue with him for a while so i'm gonna take and put up an electric fence and see if that cures it uh we'll see it's one of those things that uh you know it's not all his fault sometimes it's our fault because of just the way we live and the way that we take and uh have to feed them and, and our lifestyles maybe if i can get that done later today i'm gonna fit uh prince jack for a temporary harness i've got some sir single some breast collars first one thing another uh so he can start learning to pull pull a little bit of weight maybe a few tires something like that he is doing really good i really uh i really am enjoying working with him so i'm gonna get to work on this i've still got to unload the truck a lot of things i gotta do before i jump on that project but we're gonna get after it, so come along with us. We are gonna put a pin right here in this area on our fence line. Me and Miss Polly been out here working. We've got one corner post in. Uh, we've had this timeless sitting around here for ever since we got here some of it we brought from tennessee so this is our fence line right here i know i've showed it to you before so we're going to put a pin right here on our fence line then this section of our outer perimeter will be fenced we're going to go up cut through the trees and then come back this is kind of our livestock area down here anyway so we were going to want to we're going to want to put the whole thing under fence down here and kind of make a just a turnout pin we got the the timeless over there and we're gonna make this a high tensile pin, probably five, six strands. It's gonna be electric. Uh, we've got plenty of good clearance here for the solar uh, charger. And then the horses will have them a new pin uh, and a little bit more room to move around. It's gonna be bigger than the one they're in now. And then I can go about repairing some of the things that Cowboy has destroyed. Uh, he's a par. It's just something you have to deal with. So anyway, I can fix on that, work on that. I think I'm probably gonna put cattle panels in there and make it a pin for the pigs. And we're gonna, we're gonna take and get with it and get busy here. We would like to get this done today. It may not happen. We're gonna get done what we can get done. And then we'll work on it again another day.
we've got this back line put up. Got the braces in. Now these are not set in concrete, but this is gonna be an electric fence. So we don't have to put that much tension on it. <laughs> this being on our, um, right on our property line, we can just continue on out there and continue on this way when we get ready. And this little section right here will be under fence. We're gonna run right over there to just in front of the tongue of that trailer, back up, square it up. We gotta figure out the measurements here. And uh, we're putting the posts a little bit closer together. They're every 12 feet so that it's got a little bit more visibility for the horses. Uh, not a great big area. We do have some cleanup to do in here, some stobs and trim up some stuff, but it's gonna be a nice little area for the horses. It's under this hill. Uh, wind does blow through here, but uh, it does anywhere in this country. So I gotta dig some more holes. We're gonna put a 12 foot gate right in here and it's gonna make it kind of nice to back stuff in, back trailers in, put water into them. So it's coming along. I really like this timeless fence. I wish we could afford to do it on our whole our whole place. It's it's so easy to work with and so versatile. Uh, we've got a couple pieces up there that are not pre-cut. We're gonna have to pre-cut them, but it's as easy as a handsaw and a drill, and you can make it do just about anything you want to. Mama sure does like it. it ain't heavy, is it, Mama? No, it's not. Easy. Very light. Simple. Yeah, and even if it's not exactly right, a drill just fixes the issue, don't it? Yeah, it does. I'm gonna get back after it. We're gonna see if we can't get this thing up. Uh, we're about half done. <laughs> Driving the T post sure ain't no trouble on our ground. They drive right in nice. Alrighty, folks. We have got three sides with all the posts up. Just dug that corner over there. I gotta put the brace in. And then we've gotta put a post in here to meet up with the gate. Miss Polly's working on a one I just cut. A couple of these posts we've had for I know eight years. Uh, haul them all around the country. And we just re-drill them and reuse them so i had started a manure pile right here between these trees and then we changed things up <laughs> gonna put a fence here i really like the way this timeless works it's so nice you can make a really good looking fence really quick we've been out here all all day yeah since about 10 o'clock we have, uh, we've, we had to lay it out. We had to do some cleanup just to get the fence line laid out. Had to string a string on the fence line, the perimeter line. Little things that always take up your time. And we still probably got two hours of sun, give or take. I don't know if we're going to get the wire up, but I only have to drill one more hole and I got to dig two more holes and then drive some T posts. Right here on this line, we can string wire, uh, the electric fence charger. Uh, and I had one that was a little one, but it's gonna be fine for this, for this little system. And uh, then the horses have a new pin. And then the cleanup and restoration is gonna start over there on the old pin. We got the gate up, got this line up. Everything's up and buried. We just gotta run wire now and uh, hook the solar charger to it. I think it's gonna look pretty nice. I wish I had some electro braid rope. It would really make it pop, but we don't have that. Been a long day, ain't it, babe?
Okay, folks. Now, we don't have these corners uh, concreted in, like I said before, so we're not putting a ton of strain on these wires. They're up, and they're gonna be hot, and that's all they really need to do. We just pulled them tight. Um, old Prince Jack over there, letting us know he's here. I've got up three sides, and before I take and time off, this is what they look like tied off. That's to connect the circuit all the way around. I got a couple of them tied off. I got to tie off a couple more. I will tighten them just a little bit more at the corners. Um, they give a little bit once you've pulled them tight, they'll take and shrink back a little bit. So just the wire getting the kinks out of it. But I've got one little old stretch left to do right here in the front and then tie it off and put the charger on it. So I've got to run five more strands right here, tie it off and we'll be good to go. Get a latch for the gate. But that sun back there is sinking low. Projects look simple sometimes, but then, you know, there's a lot of little pieces and bits and ends that you got to take care of. Got all this up. Got a few tools I got to pick up. Miss Polly picked up all the wood that was in there. So tomorrow, I'm going to hook up the electric charger um, and get the horses in here, get them some water in here, and then I'm going to take on work on Prince Jack getting a harness set up on him so that when I come in from work, I can just take and throw it on him and go to work in him. Uh, never enough time in the day. We, uh, we run out of time every day trying to get things done. At least we got the majority of it done. I got all my corners tied. All's left is the charger and hooking it up and getting the horses in here. We'll do that when there's a little bit more daylight and I don't have to worry about them in the middle of the night run through the fence or something like that. I want them to see the place. And it's never a good idea to turn out horses into a new pasture or a new pen in the middle of the night. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, folks, next day uh, we went to church, got some water hauled, moved the horses tank in here. I've got one of these tractor supply chargers and I had it. Um, it's easiest to set up right now. It works. I've got a tester. I'm going to see how many volts it's pushing. Um, for this little pin, it should be more than enough to keep the cows out and the horses in. All righty, guys, I got it all hooked up. This is my uh, hot wire on the top, and this is one of my negatives. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not. They are blinking. Um, kind of hard to see, but they are blinking. So it's blinking all the way up to 7,000 volts. Doesn't blink very hard because this is a point, uh, 10 joule output. Uh, our solar chargers are two whole joules. This is a 10th of a joule. So it's not hitting it real hard, but it's enough for this small pin to take in deter animals from wanting to get out or in. So we're gonna go get the horses and turn them in here and see how they like their new pen.
takes off this, this summer, he's really going to be free. He reminds me of uh, Ralph's horse. That's a horse in track. Cracker. cracker, not tracker, but cracker. Yeah. They know it's hot, don't they? They can smell it. Mm -hmm. Why you don't put them in there at night? All the rest of the cowboys uh, shoes trimmed uh, he's somewhat of an escape artist <laughs> you guys notice this rope up here on his neck um, he likes to scratch his halter off he'll take and pull it off over his ear so we have to put a catch rope on him but I got him trimmed up good enough so that when I get ready to reshoe him I can just rasp him straighten him up a little bit tack shoes on there and get ready to go to the canyon again so got enough daylight i'm gonna grab old prince jack and we're gonna see if we can't feed him for a for a temporary makeshift i don't know what you call it harness they're tearing up jack running around this chain's gonna get me shocked i'm afraid That. The chain is going to end up sharpening something. I'm going to make a, a gate tie. A bungee would be good too. Bungee would be good, yeah. yeah. There we go. That's going to be fun to untie. Yeah. I don't have to worry about it coming loose. Yeah, true that. So I got a surf single on him. It's a training surf single. Um, it's got a lot of rings on it. I just do a breast collar on him. Doesn't really 
fit that well. I'll probably come down here with it, but I've got to burn some holes in it with a with a torch. I usually heat up a nail or something and stick through that nylon. We've got odds and ends attack around here. This Sir Single, ready for harness, needs to set back just a little bit, but he's got such a big old grass belly. Um, it it probably won't till I get some britching on it. Um, usually you'll have a back strap uh, or what to call a loin strap. Just depends on what part of the country you're from. And then sometimes you'll have a tail cripper, britching, whatever. But this will be enough for me to run reins through, uh, teach him to, to, to line drive really nice. And uh, <laughs> he don't know what to think about it. But I've just been carrying him off. He's, he's itching. He's been over here itching on the fence. Carried him off. And it's a good idea if you work a horse. I generally like to work a horse about three days, and then I'll give him a day off. Uh, it, it helps balance it out. And not all those days, you don't want them all to be high-impact days is what I call them, uh, where you're just constantly throwing new stuff at them. And then, you know, what, three or four days, just – Get them out, carry them off, catch them, pet them. Uh, let them know that life is not all work. Because if you don't, um, your your horse is going to get to the point that they're going to hate to see you coming. So you again, we're talking about balance, balancing out the your work and your rest. So they need to be able to spend some time with you where you're just petting on them, loving on them, um, picking their feet, brushing them out. And there's some horses, honestly, uh, they would just rather be left alone. So it's a good idea. Just leave them alone on those days and, and they'll be happy with you. Go feed them a carrot, whatever, and they'll be fine. Got that on there. I can work with that. Like I said, I've got to make a few adjustments, burn some holes in it. I had, I had to swap out a different girth. He is so little. Uh, my, actually, my pony, Sir Single, wouldn't fit him. So I took the pony girth off my pony sir single and put it on this one. Working real good. Them horses are still running around over there. So this is what I'm going to take and use for now. Uh, when I get to pulling, I'll probably rig up something else. I've got a really nice breast collar in there that's really wide. And that's probably what I'll take and uh, fix for him. Running out of daylight today. It's getting cold, so we're going to take an end it up. Them horses are sure loving that new pen. I really want to thank all the subscribers that have come over from uh, the farm on Route 66 to see Prince Jack's uh, progress. And just, you guys really don't know how much it means to us uh, that you would be interested in our lives, interested in what we're doing. So we want to thank you. Um, appreciate you. And until next time, remember, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap, if you faint not. We'll see you later.